Good morning. So today is a day for another experiment, strange experiment. Okay. So let's uh, take out these things. So really strange experiment. I saw one video of um, one guy in uh, Australia. He's a crazy recycle. He recycle everything. He give everything to it to his worms, and it's uh, very nice to watch his. Uh, YouTube video I will try to link it down if I see it okay so this is my big bin that I already take out half of the stuff it was full like this okay and this is full of worms and right now they are a little angry because last time I feed I fed them was like 10 days ago because I wanted to go through all the bedding okay so wherever I go I go there are and full of worms. Yeah, and that's very it's full of worms. So what I will feed my worms today. So I just saw this video where uh, he was feeding the worms the packaging ball, this stuff. And I say, what is it? This? So it's feeding the worm this thing. This is plastic. So actually, I found out that this is not plastic. This is like a cornstarch or something from corn. Yeah, because by law they have to be recyclable. So you can, you know, biodegradable. So what I found out, the guy said, you make one experiment and check if your things are uh, cornstarch and it's not plastic, polypropylene, whatever it's at. Just put some water and it will degrade and disappear in seconds. So, let's do this experiment. So, you see? It's gone. So, this thing is a cornstarch. So, I have a bunch of this stuff because uh, another things I do I do um, pepper uh, pepper sauce, hot pepper sauce, because, you know, I, I, I like a pepper sauce. It's another of my stupidest things <laughs> I do. So I ordered um, a bunch of bottles for this pepper sauce and for the barbecue sauce I do. And uh, there were uh, 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 really a, a lot of uh, this packaging stuff. Uh, but I didn't want to toss it because I don't know where I toss it. In the, can go on the recycle because they don't accept can go on the landfill so I, I had these things forever in a big box try to figure out what to do where I can discard so now I know I can feed my worms that's incredible that's incredible this is at the base of um, of uh, recycling you know of the meaning of the worms so now that stuff will not go on the landfill I will feed my worms that's the most incredible things I did with my worms. So I'm putting this stuff here. I will give a very nice, nice water down on this stuff. And uh, we'll see what happens. I will come back like in three days, four days. And we will see what happens with this thing if the, if the worms eat it and attach it. For the video that I saw, the worms like it, love it. It's all corn, corn-based things, so. All right, let's see, I need to water very well, so I will take out these things here. If this thing work and the the worms like it, I have a bunch of the stuff. I have really a lot. Okay, guys, I finished to work on these things, and uh, we will see in uh, four or five days back and see what uh, how the worms react. Okay, thank you, and please like and subscribe. Thank you. So I want to check out this experiment how it's going. Today it's Wednesday. And we started the experiment with this packaging thing on um, Saturday. 
So it's four days. Let's see. Okay, it's look like the worms are on the top. Oh, it's look like a bunch of worms on the top of these things. Okay, but uh, yeah, they look they are slow to break down. So there's more moist, of course, they break down easily. Let me see what is on the bottom. There are a bunch of worms on the bottom, so it look like the worms are liking. Okay, let's let's go check out the other side. So definitely, where it is more moist, so that means to break it down. There are some worms here. Yeah, definitely, there are no worms here. Okay, it looks like the worms like it, these things. Okay, so we say one week. So let's wait till next Sunday what happened. I'm going to move this here that it's more moist. Okay, let's see Sunday. One week after we started the experiment, uh, we did the package packaging uh, soy starch uh, or corn starch or whatever bowls. Let's see how they did that. So we checked it after three days and I think they start to break down but they really didn't break down. They break down a little more where there was more moist too. So let's go check it out. They are definitely, definitely break down and look like the worms like it, these things. They are on top all over these things. So of course on the corner here there are less moisture. They didn't break down very well. So let's check out on the bottom. Oh. It's look like uh, they like uh, these things. Let me take the camera down. See, it look like they like it. This thing. Let's check to the other side. Okay. So it's definitely this thing is to work. The worms like it. Yeah, the worms like uh, they definitely need uh, a lot of moisture to break down. Here in the corner, there was a less moisture, didn't break down very well. But it looked like the worms like uh, yeah. yeah, this is, see, uh, worms here. Yeah, definitely. The experiment is worth it. Okay, now I want to move everything. At this point, I want to take all these things upside down. I want to give a little air. Yeah. The moisture is perfect. The worms are happy. Let me check on the bottom here. This bin is full, so I have to start actually to move this bin and harvest. Let's start to take out some worms. 
so for spring salmon ready so down it's a little moist again but not dangerously moist so let me put it on the bottom of the top top on the bottom Okay, let's have a panoramic of this the general health of this bin. This bin is very healthy. The casting is ready. More or less ready, of course, there are always some bedding that is not processed. But the things I want to do now here, I want not feed those worms for a couple of weeks I want they work on the bed okay yeah there are really a bunch of worms here really a lot of worms see I look out a bit Avocado and banana peel are always the things they took more time to break down. Yeah, this is my red wigglers bean. Actually, yeah, this 55 gallon red wigglers bean. Okay. I have one big mortar tray with uh, around four or five thousand bean and another uh, worms I'm sorry red wigglers and another 20 gallon bean with all red wigglers in total I don't know maybe there are 40,000 I don't know 50,000 70,000 I have no idea so I am planning to build a continuous flow building bin and move all the red wigglers over there and uh, I may do the same thing for the Indian blue because I have a, also another 55 gallons bin full of Indian blue but I have a less Indian blue than red wigglers but still it's 55 gallons full So these things they will put just you know down that are a little more moisture so they can break down. So from what I, we understand with this uh, with this uh, packaging things that they don't break very 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 easily and fast. They need a lot of moisture but they eventually break down, take a little time they took it's like a week and they are still there so take a little time but the the worms definitely like but I don't know if I will put any more of those things in the bin I have a bunch of this stuff eventually I will uh, put on the outside compost bin okay Let's put these things here. Let's work the worms on the bedding. So I will uh, not touch this bin for one more week. I don't wanna bother the worms I want they work for me they will give me a lot of casting a lot of a new baby so we will leave everything nice if everything is nice and moist moist to the right level I am always fascinated of the newborn ones.
they are an amazing little creature. Okay, I think we are done here. Thanks again for watching and uh, we talk soon, okay? Thank you.